Do you want to listen to a story about camping? Or do you want to listen to a story about a bear trying to eat one more marshmallow? Then you should listen up. A Camping Spree with Mr. McGee by Chris Van Dusen. A Camping Spree with Mr. McGee by Chris Van Dusen. Early one morning at 7.03, Mr. McGee and his little dog, Dee, packed up the camper and hitched up the load, hopped in the rainbow, and then hit the road. They drove to the mountains far from the sea for two nights of camping, or possibly three. There's nothing okay, like camping, okay. said Mr. McGee. I know it. you will love it. Just you wait and see. No, no. The views are fantastic. There is hardly a sound. Aside from the wildlife, there's no one around. And the air is so sweet, you'll sleep like a log, said Mr. McGee to a small spotted dog. A few hours later, they took a sharp right and found a place to lay camp for the night. It was high in a hill with a beautiful sight of Mount Adams, Mount Lincoln, and Jefferson, too. But perhaps the most wonderful feature of all was a brook that ran over a steep waterfall. Dee gathered pine cones and branches and logs. McGee made a campfire and cooked some hot dogs. As the sun set behind, behind far distant knolls, they sat roasting marshmallows over the coals. As the embers went out, they felt tired and dozy. So they climbed in their bunk bed, all comfy and cozy. But while they were falling asleep without care, along came a stumbling, rumbling, bubbling bear. A kindly old bear whose sight wasn't so clear. He couldn't see far, and he couldn't see near. But he could smell marshmallows, Ow. sticky and sweet. The Ooh. smell made him hungry. He wanted a treat. He sniffed out the place where the marshmallows lay. But the car and the camper were in the bear's way. If that didn't stop the sneaky old snitch, he simply kept squeezing right out of the hitch. And as he was shimming into the gap, he pushed up the hitch with let go with the snap. Now the car and the camper were on top. They started to roll down the rocky hillside. The car bounced away on the old logging road, while the camper was heading to where the stream flowed. It flew down the hill on a wild, bumpy ride, with McGee and with Dean and McGee sleeping soundly inside. They were snoring and sneezing, enjoying a dream, when a splash went the camper right into the stream. Now the splash shook the camper. They bumped out of bed. Now what in the world was that? McGee said. And when he looked out and saw where they were, his hair stood on, and so did Dee's fur. Dee and McGee both started to quiver as faster and faster they headed down the river. But just as they thought they'd fall over the edge, their camper got stuck on a rock at the ledge. So there they were, stranded, McGee and his pup, on the top of a waterfall, 50 feet up. Meanwhile, the nearsighted bear from before, <coughs> for one little marshmallow, <coughs> when lo and behold, it's a thought of a dream. He spied something sweet going over the street. What the bear thought was a marshmallow tree was really the hitch and not some tweet. The bear was determined to capture his prize, so he jumped into the water right up to his thighs. He splashed through the stream to the edge of the fall, snapped up a trailer, camper and all. Dee felt a tug. McGee heard a knock. As the bear pulled the camper, right off the rock, <coughs> he dragged them both all the way back to the bank. And he realized the hitch was not something sweet, but quite rank. He spit out the hitch and left in dismay. While McGee and Dee's camper again rolled away. He, it flew down the path with a jolt in a jar and landed in some bushes right next to the car. Dee popped her head out. McGee looked out too. Had they really stopped rolling? Could it be true? At last things were quiet and peaceful and still. They hooked up the hitch and drove off down. Oh. And on the way home, McGee said to Dee, the trip wasn't quite thought. I was what I thought it would be. So when they got home with the sky turning red, they decided to camp in the backyard. Oh. And